this is my 18 card spread. You can find it on my website, a touch of tarot.com. And let's begin, okay? Virgo, what is your person thinking of you right now? What are they thinking? And let me tell you, your person is really thinking about you. When I get this Four of Swords energy here in this first position, it tells me, like, for sure, your person is actually, literally, um, overthinking, having you on their mind, trying to probably step away from this situation for some reason. Something's happened here, that's for sure. I feel like uh, you guys had a fresh beginning. Like when you had a beginning, something happened that was major, okay? Because we have the Empress here with the tower. Um, I feel like you guys, when you met or something, I don't know why that's coming to my mind because I'm really just asking what this person is thinking about. But I feel like this person is thinking about something that happened, right? Uh, it could have been right before you guys were about to have a fresh start or uh, just a start at all. Um, and now this person is in either isolation or seclusion because they're like, damn, what just happened there? Or what do I do now? How do I get back in this lovely figure's life? I'm saying figure can be man or woman, okay? Now, how does this person actually feel about you, Virgo? Um, so this was interesting because you did receive two twos. Maybe this makes it better a little, maybe not. But anyhow, you received the two of wands and the two of swords with the wheel of fortune. This person doesn't know what to do. Do they follow their heart? Do they follow their mind? Um, probably there's a lot of factors involved here, but this person is really confused. One day they may be like very solid and, you know, tell you everything you want to hear. The next day they might be rude. And the next day you have no idea where they stand because they're saying one thing and then another. And maybe even forgetting what they were saying before. This happens often, okay? Um, so this person doesn't know. Like, they can't make a decision about... Uh, like, obviously this person cares about you. That's why they're showing up here, you know? But there's been some failures in the situation. And I forgot to mention these were the two outstanding energies the first being defeat five of swords and the bottom being the seven of pentacles but that's about failure in this deck um, and i interpret this deck in my own way i always use the same deck for this reading for me it's really about failure it's about trying over and over and over again to the point of exhaustion maybe this person's wheels have been turning so much they may just be exhausted they don't know what to choose okay um, so this person doesn't want to lose their power, but once again, we have these choices here, love or money, okay? Interesting. So this, sorry, I didn't even mention. So this is how does this person feel about the situation, Um, But I just feel it's one continual message. Something happened. Now this person doesn't know what to do. You've tried, tried, tried again, or someone's tried, tried, tried again in some sort of category here. Um this person wants to keep their power and not lose it and gain more, but they do have to make a choice. They don't realize they can have success in love together because that's exactly what's written here. So anyhow, um, does this person want to make this work? You know, do they even want to? Well, you got the chariot. Here is the first card. Absolutely. Yes. Even though they are still confused and being pulled in two different directions, um, with their mind and heart, yes, they do. And they um, also <laughs> don't at the same time because it's stressful. And this person is never getting to you. Um, I really feel like you might be dealing with a cancer because I'm just imagining the way that the crab moves from side to side. Like, I feel like this person does try to come towards you and they get pulled over here a little bit off course and then pulled over here a little off course in that direction. Um, so this person, I think they just stay in one spot where they can hold their power. Another number four, and it is the emperor this time. So they're just in pause right now where they can hold their power. Do they want to? Yes. But it's really stressful or difficult or challenging right now. So no, it's like just it's it's it says cruelty, but it's it's hurting their heart almost, or it's like hurting them because they want to so bad. Very interesting. Okay, so what is the most likely near future actions from your person? And this is what I'm talking about. You know, we have the rebirth, but we have the hermit. 
And then we have the Ten of Wands because it feels like a burden to them because they want it so bad. This person may pop out of nowhere and say hello and disappear. This person may just say hello. You know what? Don't worry. If this if that was were to happen, just tell yourself, like, they're going to message me right now. Like, they're thinking about what else they want to say. Just don't let this message take over, actually, because, like, you will create it. So if this person does just pop up out of nowhere um, and then retract, well, I mean... This may be another thing, okay? This person may pop up out of nowhere, say hi, and then say, I got to go because they still have some burdens, okay? Because here, I'm just remembering this message now. This is the final outcome energy. And to be honest, it looks like this person is thinking of how to move forward and get away from the past. Um, someone might be a fire sign. It could be like the ex or something like that because I do see this person will either become single or already is single, from a connection, a, some sort of a commitment in the future. So an actual commitment will be over. This person will become single. Um, and this would also say if this person was to get into a commitment, it wouldn't work or try to have a commitment with someone that they may be married with, it wouldn't work. This may be that try, try, try again. And no, 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 it's not happening. Uh, you know, this person needs to see the light bulbs. But okay, let's get into the, well, let's pull one card for that final why not we don't need to clarify anything but yeah so we have the tower and the interesting thing is is that i thought it was a church <laughs> it looks like a church to me let me see what it says um the tower surrounded by clouds denotes sickness and um death okay so there's an ending i'm not joking i told you ten of pentacles this would be the ten of swords there's a relationship that's over here okay so let's see how this person feels about you so maybe that's why this person just pops up and says, hey, I want to come back. I want to re-enter your life. I, I, right now is not the time or I can't at this time with the hourglass there, okay? Maybe this person just wants to tell you they love you. So sexual union, honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. Because, yeah, you guys had some sort of a un uh Probably a sexual experience together is what I'm going to say. What's at the top here? Sacred union. Because you have a very special union all together. So you probably did hit it off right away. That's why it was probably so um, painful and detrimental with that freaking tower energy. So honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. Okay, we get that energy. And um, once again, honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul so remember you are always together no matter what for there you will find true bliss and then this one ooh. so you may not always understand why certain things happen however there is always a higher purpose to the events in life um, and a blessing will soon be revealed so maybe that has to do with this repetitive failure energy um, it could have to do with anything or maybe you're going to say like why did this person just disappear and then you find out like they had to close some other doors that they had left open, you know, whatever it may be, you may not always realize um, like there's a blessing in it. If you'd like to join my Patreon for my exclusive videos and extended, so this will not have an extended um, as far as I know, uh, you can join it. The link is below. And I really appreciate you all. Thank you for any like donations, comments. If you want to join the draw, just leave a comment below the video and uh, thank you so much. Okay. Bye for now.